What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new, my channel leaves, and you enjoy my content, you can sign up by the name notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all times, south through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the sharing of my content on social media to, um, and word of mouth because it's really helping get my channel around very positively on social media and word of mouth. And it's helping the sub count and the view counts. So I really, really, really appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I do, I do, do. I just want to let everybody know that. This could resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your charts. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. I encourage everybody to at least check out your Sun, Moon, Rising charts, if not all of them. But um, for additional messages or messages, as this is a free general collective reading, okay? Spirit messages you have, not Libra. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy uh, for 11 7 of 2022 to 11 14 of 2022, Libra. Um, the channel message I received was. Someone's about to come forward about um, poisoning um, poisoning a family member's vitamins um, strategically. I heard screenshots and emails will be included as evidence. You, you plug in how it resonates. Now, energies can be reversed. I feel you could be the family member where your vitamins were uh, poisoned, or you possibly could be the family member. Uh, I can't speak. <laughs> Or um, you could be the family member that poisons somebody's vitamins. I mean, I hope you aren't, but hell, I have low vibing people and high vibing people that uh, view my channel. So energies can be reversed. So like I said, I feel you could be the family member that possibly has poisoned somebody's vitamins in the past and somebody's got some evidence on you, like screenshots or emails. Or you could be the one high vibrational exposing somebody's family member that poison somebody else's family member's vitamins and you have the screenshots and uh, emails. How that resonates in the applies Libra? Only you know which side of the karmic wheel you're on there. Um, how that resonates in the applies? But it was a family member that intentionally poisoned another family member's vitamins. Intentionally. Now, I heard vitamins. I feel that can be anything, but um, it was some kind of vitamin supplement or supplements they intentionally poisoned intentionally but somebody's about to expose it i feel it's a libra about to expose it or it could be a libra that was poisoning it however that resonates in the plus but i did hear screenshots and i did hear emails so you plug it in how it resonates okay all right for some i thought you could be dealing with earth sign because we have double earth sign energy if you are you can uh, they can have taurus capricorn virgo and their sun moon rising venus north them and have energy for charts um, if you are Libra, you have the bear energy and otter energy, so double earth, earth sign energy. For some, I strongly feel you could be dealing with two or two plus earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos, because double earth sign energy in your animal spirit cards. Just saying, just saying. Also, you have wishbone, a wish is granted, spear, heartache over what you no longer have, an owl, good advice from a wise person. Spirit messages you have reflected. Vigilant, uh, vigilance, vigilance. Bear. A very protective parent is about to come very significant in Libra's life. Very protective parent. For one, you are the protective parent. For one, it is somebody else. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A very protective parent is about to come very significant in Libra's life. For one, you are the protective parent. For one, it is somebody else. So, for one, you are the protective parent. So, mama bear, mama dad mode, 
for one, it is somebody else that is the protective parent, whether you are, uh, whether they are mama bear or mama dad mode. The bear energy in the animal spirit card is my mama dad, mama bear mode energy. So whether you're going to be taking on the mama bear, mama dad mode or somebody else is, um, you plug it in how it resonates, Libra. But mama bear, mama dad mode, significant soon in your life, whether you are the mama bear, mama dad, or it's somebody else. But there's a reason somebody's about to be in mama bear, mama dad mode, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. A cookout is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. <clears throat> and meeting a new Sagittarius. A cookout is about to become very significant in a Libra's life and meeting a new Sagittarius. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, a cookout is about to become significant in your life. And for one, you're about to meet a new Sagittarius. Um, I'm assuming new to you, Sagittarius. They could have Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, Main Hater, Jupiter charts. However, that resonates and applies. Um, but a cookout sounds like upcoming is about to become very significant in your life. And for one, you're about to meet a new Sagittarius. So new to you, Sagittarius energy. Uh, I feel like to be masculine or feeling Sagittarius. They could have Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Main Hater, Jupiter charts. I feel this could go positive or negative. This new Sagittarius energy that you haven't met yet, it sounds like in your life, but you're about to. How that resonates and applies, okay? For some Sagittarius, I'm feeling this new Sagittarius can be a parent in mama bear or mama dad mode. And I'm just being for real because we have the bear card. Um, possibly. Um, or not. You plug it in how it, res how it resonates, okay? A Libra is about to find out about a, a Sagittarius having a huge crush on a Scorpio masculine. You are Libra feminine. It is Sagittarius feminine. It is about to piss you off in a huge way. You have very secret feelings for the Scorpio masculine. Oh, my Lord. Good Lord have mercy. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Okay, so one of you guys have very secret feelings for a Scorpio masculine. So you're keeping it inside and you're not telling anybody, I'm presuming, or you're not telling many people how that resonates and applies. But there's a reason you have secret feelings for this Scorpio masculine and it's not public. There's a reason. So whether you, it sounds like you're strategically keeping it secret. But you're about to find out this a Sag femme, she got Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Ben and Jupiter charts. You're about to find out she has uh, feelings for the Scorpio masculine, and I heard it's going to piss you off. But there's a reason it's going to piss you off, but it's because you have secret feelings for him, and there's a reason you're secretly keeping them secret. A lot of secrets here. I don't believe, I don't believe that shit, and that's just true. I guess that's why I was led by the spiritual realm to expose people's shit, and that's just the truth. Um, but I heard it's going to piss you off, so it could be this new Sag energy that you're about to encounter that has um, these feelings for this Scorpio masculine. It sounds like the same Scorpio masculine that you have secret feelings for, or it could be a different one. But somehow a new Sag energy is about to become significant in your life, whether they're masculine or feminine. And some Sag feminine, if this resonates for you, you have secret feelings for Scorpio masculine, but there's a reason you're keeping them secret. And there's a Sag femme that has very, it sounds like she's not going to be secret about her feelings. But she's not going to know you secretly have feelings for him. So it sounds like she's going to tell you or tell somebody around you and you're about to hear about it. And it's going to pick. It is about to burn you up. It's going to make you do something you never thought you would do. 
Oh my God Almighty. Oh Lord Libra. Okay, so you're a Libra fan if this resonates for you. I heard it's going to burn you up. It's going to make you do something you never thought you would do. So she has no clue that you secretly have feelings for him. So she's going to she's gonna talk about it. But she doesn't know. So, but when she talks about it, it's going to burn you up. And I heard it's going to make you do something you never thought you'd do. I hope it's not maliciousness and spitefulness. Nay, 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 nay. Just saying, just saying, Libra. That's low vibrational energy if anybody needs to hear that. I think, okay, whoever this is has secret feelings for Scorpio masculine, I'm not telling you what to do, but I think you should go to therapy and talk about it with somebody. And I'm serious. Why are you harboring these feelings in? It'd be good to speak about it. And obviously you don't want to speak about it to the public and that's your right and free will. But harboring them in like that is not good. If anybody needs to hear that. I'm not telling you to go to therapy because you can't force anybody to do anything they don't want to do. And they also have the right to refuse. But I heard it's going to make you do something you never thought you would do. And it doesn't sound like it's going to turn out well there. Maybe you should go talk to somebody. Like a therapist or a counselor. If anybody needs to hear that. Otter. A Libra has strategically been blocking a position of authority from coming towards a Leo feminine. And they've been using their flying monkeys as references to talk very badly about this Leo feminine. It's about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way. It is a Libra fem. Low vibrational. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So low vibrational Libra fem energy. They don't trust people. Uh, they don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Whoever you are, low vibrational Libra fam, I heard you've been strategically blocking a position of authority masculine from coming towards a Leo feminine. Strategically. Um, and I heard you've been using your flying monkeys to do it. So narcissistic triangulation of flying monkey tactics. I flying, Anybody doesn't know flying monkeys are basically friends of these Libra fam, of the Libra fam connections, friends, but they're flying monkeys of hers, meaning they come back and tell her everything. And they would probably agree with everything she says. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. That's what the narcissistic triangulation and the flying monkeys is. And that's just the truth. But that's what it sounds like is going on here. She was strategically blocking a position of authority masculine from coming towards the Leo fem. For some, you could be the Leo fem over here. For some, you could be this low vibrational Libra fem. But she was using other people to for this position of authority masculine to communicate with as references it sounded like in the channeling as references to um basically corroborate her story to back up her story it's about to backfire in such a huge way okay i heard it's about to backfire in a huge way so yeah so she was he it sounds like he came towards her and asked about the leo film and the leo film and the Libra fam said no, as far as references or dating or what have you, what have you, no. Wouldn't be a good fit, wouldn't be a good fit, but there's a reason. Because the Libra fam is low vibrational and she's strategic and she doesn't want him coming towards her because she, re she really is a good fit. But she doesn't want him to know it. So it sounds like she said, well, hey, why don't you ask my friends? Why don't you ask my references? Why don't you ask my contacts? I.e. her flying monkeys. That basically would back up her story and corroborate everything she said. And I'm sure she gave them a heads up on the phone real quick. Hey, blah, 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 it's coming over here towards you. Make sure you back up my story. Blah, 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 blah. Like a ride till you die kind of person. So, I'm sure she told the position on authority masculine. Hey, yeah, and if you, and if you need, um, uh, I have other people that can, you know, if you need to talk to other people, here's blah, 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 blah. They can back it up i.e. flying monkey syndrome so i'm sure she gave out i don't know i didn't hear how many people two people two plus people as references and contacts
to back up her story, i.e. the flying monkey syndrome. All the while, she's on the phone, probably. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Blue Blood's coming towards you. I don't want them coming towards the Leo Femme. You know why. Make sure to back up a story. Thanks. Bye. And they did. Because it benefited them. This little narcissistic triangulation thing going on. And I heard it work, but it's about to backfire. So it's already worked in current energetic space, but it's about to backfire. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's a Lib low vibrational Libra Femme, older Libra Feminine. Older Libra Femme. It's an older Libra Feminine. She could be, I feel she'd be um, 35, 36 or above, have Libra in any aspect so charge. She's older. But she's strategically, she doesn't want him coming towards her because she really is a good fit. But having her flying monkeys back up her story cr created blockages. So the position of authority masculine didn't come towards her. But I heard it's about to backfire soon, meaning he might come towards her, possibly. Or he just might move on to somebody else similar to her. How that resonates. But that's what that kind of shit is. That's why you should, if anybody needs to hear that, this is why you should always go to that person. You should always go to that person and not go to somebody else. Because this is why narcissistic triangulation and flying monkey syndrome happens. When shit like this happens and you don't actually go to this person and communicate with them. Hey, would you, I'm, I'm interested in hiring you for blah, 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 blah. Hey, would you like to go on a date? That's why you should talk to the person firsthand. Not ask friends and family as far as dating. Not ask friends and family as far as references. See it with your own fucking eyeballs. And that's just the truth if anybody needs to hear that. Otter. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine, younger Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, femme is about to find very sexy photos of a Libra and a Scorpio's phone. Scorpio masculine. It is about to make her blow up in a huge ass way. It's an older Libra feminine. It is about to create negative series of chain of events for this older Libra feminine. She's not going to expect them. And they're about to happen. And they're about to happen soon. She will never have a friend out of this younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo feminine ever. Ever. Huge ass betrayal. And this younger Taurus Capricorn feminine will tell everybody she knows. It's not going to go well for this older Libra feminine. Oh. Sexual partner of the Scorpio masculine. Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme. Oh my God almighty. Dear Lord. Have I'm pulling in a lot of low vibrational Libra Femme energy. I mean, I know some of you guys are very high vibrational and I'm sorry. Whoever this is for. Um. If you're not, you have to plug yourself in. If you're not low vibrational and you're not doing this shit, you don't plug yourself in where you are, okay? I'm pulling in one very low vibrational Libra Feminine. So I know a lot of you guys are not, and I apologize in advance, okay? I don't know who the hell this is, but I know it's not a majority of my collective. I'm so, I apologize in advance, okay? Okay, so we've got a younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme in some kind of um, relationship or sexual relationship with Scorpio Masculine. Um, he, she's about to come across some kind of sex photos um, in his phone of an older Libra feminine. Um, and sex. And sex. Sex photos and sex. She's about to come across sex photos and sex in his phone. Um, about to send them to herself. And it's about not to go, uh, go well for this Libra feminine. Oh my God, I heard she's about to send them to herself and it's about to not go well for this Libra Feminine. But it sounds like the Libra, low vibrational Libra Femme free willingly sent them to him. I heard the younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme is about to send them, confirmation, about to send them to um, herself and create negative series of chain events for the low, low vibrational Libra. So I think she might show them to everybody she knows. 
It doesn't sound like this younger Toys Cup Coin Virgo Femme is in her is in the older Libra Femme circle. Most certainly is not. Confirmation. Most certainly is not. So she's not. She's not in her circle. She's not in her little friends clique or circle or I'm assuming her family. She's. It's like she doesn't have to be associated with her. She doesn't want to be. And hell, even if you're same family, you don't have to be. I'm estranged from my toxic ass family and have been for a hot ass minute. That's just the truth. So even if you're born in blood with them, don't mean you have to associate with them. But it doesn't sound like she wants to associate with her and she's not going to, I heard. I heard she's not, she basically has no respect for her. She's not going to have any respect for her. And she will not, it's like she's not going to condone it. Whoever you are, younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme, you might watch this reading. I strongly feel you might. Um, you have Taurus Capricorn Virgo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You'd be 35, 34 below. Um, but you're, you haven't found these sexy photos or the sex yet in the Scorpio masculine's phone. You are his, se you are se his sexual partner in some shape or fashion. For some, I feel you need a relationship with him. But you plug it in how it resonates. But you obviously have access to his phone and you're about to, um, find him. And I heard, um, you're going to create negative series of same events for the Leap of Fam. I think you're going to show him to all your friends, all your family. Everybody you know is what I think. I'm not condone. I'm not telling you to do that. Absolutely not. But that's what I think you're about to do. Um. But she shouldn't be sending them to your partner if you were in a relationship with this guy. Um. You definitely are sexually connected to him. Um. For some of you, you're actually in a relationship. She shouldn't be doing that shit. That's just the truth. I heard you have no respect for her. You're not going to have any respect for her, and you're not going to want anything to do with her. This younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme will probably send them to her boss. And know if you send them to her boss, it's about to go very badly for her. Oh my God, younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo Femme. Okay, I heard. Uh, okay, so once you find these sexy photos and the t a sex in the Scorpio masculine's phone, I heard you're going to screenshot them and send, send them to yourself. So once you retain them in your own phone, I heard if you send them to her boss, so the older Libra feminine works in the workspace, 3D workspace, I heard if you decide to create the series of chain events to send them to her boss, I heard it will not go well for her. So I guess you need to hear that, ma'am. I think you're going to watch this video. And I'm just being for this Libra reading, but damn, it's all about y'all up in here. I heard if you send, decide to send them to her boss, it's not going to go well for her. So just know that. Um. How that resonates, okay? Damn. So, Libra, if this resonates for you, <laughs> you've got a younger Taurus Capricorn Virgo feminine about to be on your ass. You're a low vibrational older Libra fam if this resonates for you. She's going to be in otter energy and protector mode energy. She could be a parent or she could just be protecting her relationship or her sexual connection with this uh, Scorpio masculine. But I'm telling you right now, she don't like you. And she's going to continue not to like you. And that's just the truth. But in all fairness, you're, you're about to give her a reason not to. And that's just true. Whoever that's for, you're low, low vibrational. And, there, and it doesn't sound like you should be sending him these sexy photos or sexy videos or sexy whatever, whatever. I'm, I heard sex and sex and uh, photos. I didn't hear a video, but just saying. Otter. A family member is about to call a Libra soon. They want the real truth. Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Aries Leo Sag, family member. Gemini Libra Aquarius, family member. Okay, so heavy family member energy, Libra. Um, I heard a Gemini Libra Aquarius family member, Aries Leo Sag, family member, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, family member. They're about to call you. You can be masculine within Libra, high vibrational, low, low vibrational. I heard they're going to call you one the truth, uh, the real truth. So there was some kind of lies um, in this family unit. This could be extended family or immediate family. You plug in how it resonates. But Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, 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 Libra, Aquarius. They're going to be in the otter energy. They, wa they want to know the truth. They're going to be not nosy, but inquisitive on the real truth, whatever the real truth is, but it's family members about to call you. If this resonates and applies. 
Wishbone, a wish is granted. An opportunity to move soon is about to become available to one Libra. And one Libra is about to find a condo, reasonably priced condo. An opportunity to move is about to become uh, available for a Libra, and one of you guys is about to, come, uh, about, about to find a reasonably priced condo. So condominium, for anybody who doesn't know what that is, so for one of you guys, it sounds like maybe you've been blocked in the moving department in the past or you couldn't afford to move or blockages kept you from moving in some shape, form, or fashion. But um, soon it's about to be open and you will be able to move. Um, wishes granted with the moving. I feel for some you've been in toxic dynamics, whether it's family dynamic, living space dynamic with roommates or abusive partner dynamic. I feel toxic living space dynamic for some and you've been blocked but soon you're it's about to be open and you're about to move out of the toxic dynamic whether it's relationship family roommates what have you had and for one you're about to find a discounted not a discounted a reasonably priced condominium i think you're looking to buy a condominium condominium <laughs> say that five, five times fast a condominium or rent a condominium um how that resonates and applies so wishes granted being able to move from some kind of toxic um, living space dynamic or being able to um, purchase or rent a reasonably priced condominium. A wish is granted. Congratulations to whoever that's for. One, you're about to apply for a new position in a different state, and you're about to get it. Same company. One, you're about to apply for a new position in a different state, but the same company, and you're about to get it. So, wishes granted. Um, it sounds like it's in-company transfer, if this resonates for you. It's the same company, I heard, and you're, but it's a different position in a different state. And I heard you're about to apply for it, and I heard you're about to get it. So, a lot of traveling here, a lot of moving, a lot of traveling um how this resonates same company so in company transfer but a different position and in a different state now i didn't hear what state only you know that not anybody else but um you could have already applied for it already in the energetic space or you're about to but a wish is granted is this a uh, different position same company different state it sounds like you want this and it's about to come through for you so you plug it in how it re resonates so it's really beautiful man Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. A funeral has already become significant and a funeral is about to become significant. And a death that has strategically been hidden from a family member is about to be, about to be revealed. A funeral has already been significant. A funeral is about to become significant. So one funeral in the energe energetic space has already happened and it has been, become significant in some shape, form, or fashion in one of you guys' life. One is about has not happened yet. The funeral hasn't happened yet, and it's about to happen, and it's about to become significant in your life. And for one, either your hiding has strategically hidden a death of, uh, it sounds like, in your family from another family member or somebody else in your family has strategically hidden a death 
um, in your family from another family member, but I heard that death is about to be revealed to that family member. So heartache over what you no longer have. I feel that's the death of the family member that's already occurred or the funeral that's already occurred or the funeral that's about to occur. Heavy death energy in here. And for one of you guys, it was actually a death in your family, if that resonates. Through many shocking series of chain of events, one Libra is about to end up having to pay child support. One on one child, one on two, two plus children, it's about to shock the hell out of you. You didn't think it would go this way, but it's about to go this way. And you made good money, and they're about to have you're about to have to pay a lot in child support. Whoa, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so that's at least two of you guys. You plug in how it resonates. And whoever you guys are, you make good money. So I didn't hear occupations, but only you would know if you fit in this category or not, okay? One, you're going to have to end up paying child support on one child, one on two or two plus children. But in both situations, you both make good money. So whatever professional occupation you are and how that applies. I heard you didn't think it would go this way. So I think you thought you were going to maintain custody of the child or you weren't going to have to end up paying child support or what have you, what have you. But sounds like the tables are about to go the other way and you're going to end up having to pay child support on either one child or two or two plus children. And I heard it's going to be a lot because you make a lot. So heartache over what you no longer have is about to have to pay child support if this resonates and applies. Heavy Aries energy. Heavy Aries energy. And heavy Pisces. Heavy Aries and heavy Pisces. Heavy Aries and heavy Pisces energy. So I feel your ex or exes or baby mama, baby daddy. So however that resonates, it applies. I feel they could have Aries or Pisces. And there's sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and mid Jupiter, Jupiter charts. And Virgo. And Virgo. Aries, Pisces, Virgo energy. So it could be a masculine or fem. Aries, Pisces, or Virgo. They're just, you're about to have to pay child support to for one child or two, two plus children. They could have Aries, Pisces, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and mid or Jupiter charts. But whoever you are, you make really good money. And um, for anybody who doesn't know, it goes by how much you make. It goes by how much you make and um, as far as calculation of child support. So you make good money, so it's about to it's about to come out appropriately from whatever you make, however that resonates and applies. Think you're gonna be upset because all this money about to come out. But in my opinion, it's what's best for the kids. And the kids need to be taken care of, and that's just the truth. So you might need to hear that. I heard Aries, Pis Pisces, Virgo. Owl, good advice from a wise person. A public school is about to become very significant in Libra's life. And the ending of a private school. The ending of a private school and a public school is about to become very significant in Libra's life. So some kind of ending of a public uh, private school. So maybe one of your children did a, uh, attend private school and now they're attending public school or somebody you know, knows child or children attended private school and now they're attending public school. I've been always wanting to put my kids in private school. I just haven't been able to ever afford it. But um, it could be you or somebody you're connected to. Somebody had their children in private school and now it sounds like they're already attending public school or they're about to attend public school. However that resonates, it applies, okay? For some, that could be the heartache over what you no longer have. If you had your kids in private school and now they're in public school and you don't want them to be there because you can't afford it possibly, how that resonates and applies. I will get advice from a wise person. A Libra grandparent is about to find out her Sagittarius son has someone pregnant. New grandchild on the way. A Libra grand, a grandparent. So masculine, Libra grandparent. 
I feel you can be a master of him, Libra grandparent, but you have a Sagittarius son if this resonates for you. You have a Sagittarius son. He could have Sag in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, angel, Jupiter charts. But however that resonates, um, your Sag son, I heard, has you're about to learn he's impregnated somebody. And it doesn't sound like he's dating her or he's in a relationship with her. Like, I didn't hear his fiance, his girlfriend, his spouse. I, I just heard he impregnated somebody. So I don't think they were serious. And you're about to learn that he's impregnated somebody, but you're about to have a new grandchild. If that resonates for you, Libra, grandparent. Uh, you have a Sagittarius son, if that resonates for you. Maybe for some, you've been wishing for a new grandchild. Maybe you didn't want it to exactly happen that way, but, you know, you can't control what your kids do. And whoever this Sagittarius son is, I strongly feel he's an adult. And he makes his own decisions here. So, a wish is granted. Um, for some, I feel you might have wanted a grandchild. You can't control what your kids do if they're adults, and that's just the truth. But you can still love the grandchild if anybody needs to hear that. I will get advice from a wise uh, person. An older Libra masculine is about to be invited onto a council soon. A city council. You're very knowledgeable and very wise and many people look up to you. An older Libra, okay, so older Libra masculine, I feel you can be 35, 36 or have Libra in any aspects of your charts. Um, you're very wise and people really look up to you in your community and society and world, sir. If that resonates for you, I heard you're about to be invited to be a part of the city council. So um, I feel it could be an urbanized city area or it could just be a small town and it's the city council in the small town. Because small towns have city councils too and that's just the truth. Um, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. Are you in a large city like I live in or are you in a smaller town and it's a city council for your town? Um, however that resonates and applies. But I did hear city council. But wherever you live, whether it's a small town or a city in an urbanized area, your um, your community and society really looks up to you. They think you're very knowledgeable and helpful and um, you're a prominent member of your society, sir. I heard you're an older Libra masculine. I feel you can be 35, 36 or have Libra in any aspects of your charts. And you're uh, about to be invited to be part of the city council soon. So I think you're the good advice for a wise person because you're about to be invited to be a part of this city council, sir. Um, and maybe for some, you've been wanting to be a part of this city council. A wish is granted, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. That's really beautiful. Hopefully you actually change your world and city or township or province or parish in a positive way, sir. Libra is about to uh, about to gain way a whole new respect for a Leo film. Libra masculine. A Libra mask. Okay, heavy Libra masculine. So Libra masculine is about to gain a whole new um, respect for a Leo film. So whoever who, whoever the Leo film is, sir. Um, if that resonates for you, you're a Libra masculine. You can have Libra Libra at that. Libra in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, Midheaven, and Jupiter charts, but it doesn't sound like you had respect for her in the past, um, or you either didn't have respect for her in the past, or I think you didn't. I don't think you have respect for her in the past, possibly. Um, or you refused to respect her in the past. Maybe you're um, out. Maybe you had outdated belief systems, possibly. I didn't hear you did, but for some, I feel you might have had outdated belief systems that clouded your way of thinking, if that makes sense. But cycles have changed. Things have changed, and maybe for some, your belief systems have changed, possibly, which has created the respect, possibly. I didn't hear any of that. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning. But however that resonates, you are a Libra masculine, younger or older, have Libra in any aspects of your charts. I heard you're um, gaining a new respect for a Leo femme. Now, she could be older or younger, have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Only you know, know who this Leo femme is in your life, not anybody else. But I think you look at her as a wise person, and maybe she gives good advice. 
And that's why you come to respect her, is what I'm feeling. She has helped you out in huge ways in the past, and soon you're about to pay it forward to her. Okay, I heard she's helped you out in huge ways in the past, and soon you're about to pay it forward to her. So Libra Masculine, sir, that once didn't have respect for the Leo Femme, but now you do because she's helped you out in huge ways in the past, and soon you're about to pay it forward to her. Um, I think you think she's very wise. I think she gives good advice, and she's given you good advice in the past, and it sounds like you've taken it. And it's made you a better person or given you some kind of information or it's helped you in some shape, form, or fashion and soon you're about to pay it forward. So it's created a wish is granted with this advice or information and obviously um, whatever advice or information you, has take, you have taken from her in the past has helped you. And I think that's why you respect her now if that, um, if that applies or if that makes sense. Um, that's my intuitive logic reasoning on this. Vigilance. Now, vigilance means watchful eye um, for anybody who doesn't know. I was going to say real quick, I didn't hear anything yet with this, but um, I heard you're going to help her out in a huge way. So um, I think you're intelligent as well. You're very intelligent, but you're about to pay it forward like one intelligent person to another intelligent person like paying the forward energy in a positive, high vibrational way. I just wanted to add that real quick. Vigilance. A brother, sister, ancestral affair is about to be revealed to an older Libra, uh, Libra masculine soon. Sorry, older Libra masculine, not them. It's about to shock the hell out of you. For one, it is in your family. For one, you grew up with these people. For one, they live in your city. Oh, my God. A brother, sister, ancestral... Um, Relationship is about to be exposed very publicly. Um, for one, they live in your city. So I'm feeling a city in an urbanized area, or it could be a small township or province or parish or something, and call it a city, how that resonates. Um, one, they live in your city. So it's not you as the brother, sister, ancestral. It's somebody else. You're about to learn about it. One, they live in your city. One, you grew up with them. And one, they're in your family. Um it is about to piss you off. It's going to cause you to help a very high vibrational feminine energy very soon after you learn this. Okay, I heard you learning about this brother-sister incestual um, relationship. It's about to piss you off. Um, whether they're in your family, in your city, or um, some, you grew up with them, how that resonates. But they are brother-sister. Now, whether they're half-sister, full-blooded sister-brother, half-brother-sister, foster-sister-brother, I'm not sure. But whether you grew up with them, they're in your city, or um, they're in your family. But once you learn about it, you're about to take some action. Watch, I think, maybe, hopefully, you, oh. Photos and a video is significant in this. Oh my God, photos and a video is significant in this. So, okay, I was wondering where the vigilance came in. So vigilance is watchful eye energy. So I think you're about to watch a photo or a video of this ancestral couple in some kind of kissing cousins or kissing brother sister situation. Or that's what I think. It might be sexual. It might be sexual. I think they might be kissing up on each other or too close hugging on each other. Or French kissing in the mouth or some kind of sexual. Maybe it's sexual, whether it's a photo or a video of this brother sister. But you're going to be watching vigilance, watching this photo or this video, watching uh, some kind of proof and evidence of this kissing brothers. I can't call them kissing cousins because they're not. Kissing brother sister situation. And I heard once you learn about it, you're going to take some action. So that could be the vigilance too. That's also taking action, taking action and watchful eye energy. 
Um, you're going to take action. I heard you're going to help another feminine energy, high vibrational feminine energy. Once you learn about this brother, sister, ancestral situation going on and something to do with photos and videos. Now, like I said, I don't know if they're way too close or they're French kissing each other or they're doing something more. How that resonates and applies, okay? But there's another femme energy you're going to help if this resonates for you. You're a Libra masculine, high vibrational. Um, you're going to help another femme energy once you see this photo, video, or both of this brother, sister, ancestral situation. I think it's going to turn your stomach. It might cause you some heartache because for one, it's in your family. And who likes to know, who likes to admit that their family members are ancestral inbreeds, basically? I mean, I hate to say it like that, but it's just damn truth. Um, and I think you're about to create a series of chain events to help a femme energy and separate yourself away from this incest shit. And I, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but that's just damn truth. You know what I'm saying? I mean, damn, that's gross. All right. I love you guys so much. Hold on one second. Let me see if I hear anything else. Metallica is significant to one Libra. A green car is very significant. Older green car is very significant to one Libra. Cracker Barrel is very significant to one Libra. One Libra is a lawyer. Okay, so one, you're a lawyer. One Cracker Barrel is significant. Now, however, Cracker Barrel is significant. For some, you could enjoy eating at Cracker Barrel, or you know somebody that works at Cracker Barrel, or you worked at Cracker Barrel, or you like to purvey Cracker Barrel services. How that resonates? Somehow, Cracker Barrel is significant for one. For one, you are a Libra lawyer, I heard. For one, an older green car is significant. So I feel you could own an older model green car. Um, I heard car. I didn't hear truck. I heard car. Or you know somebody that owns an older mo model green car. How that resonates and applies, Libra. And Metallica. Oh, my God. I love. I, I have Libra in my um, in one of my charts just saying. I'm not a son, but I love Libra. Just, I'm not Libra. I love Metallica. That's my band, baby. So Metallica is significant to one of you guys. Now, uh, however that's significant, it could be your favorite band. You might like to listen to Metallica. Uh, maybe you have it on your playlist. Maybe somebody you're connected to loves Metallica or they hate Metallica. However that resonates, but somehow Metallica is significant either in a positive or negative way. I feel for some, you might have it on your playlist or somebody you're connected to does. I know I do, and that's just the truth. So we have a Libra lawyer in here. Um, Cracker Barrel significant in some shape, form, or fashion, an older model green car, and Metallica. So you plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Namaste.